Hello everyone, welcome to Elite Dangerous. Today I just want to do a little experiment. Uh, how long can you last inside the cone of a white dwarf if you jump out of Super Cruise? So, just a heads up, this ship is an anaconda. It is built for exploration, so all the modules are... Most of them are D-rated, everything's stripped down. I'm going basically for jump range on this ship. So if you have a different one, it might last a bit longer. But yeah, I figure we'll kind of aim. I'm going to turn on orbital lines. So I can see where the exclusion zone is. Okay, see how massive that is? That circle, we want to be out of that circle. And once we're in the jet, we'll just jump out of Super Cruise. So make it safe to turn those off again. And we'll see what happens, so... All right. I think the canopy is going to break first. We're not even that close to the star. Like, we're right on the edge of the, uh... The jet here. Oh, 25% for the canopy. Detailed surface scan is gonna go. Alright, let's see if we can escape this. Our frame shift drive's still working and our thrusters are still working. Or maybe not. Okay, so we have to align with the trajectory. Oh, we did it. And there you go. You can actually escape the cone of a white dwarf. It is random. It seems like. So 10% on our Guardian boost. Hangar's almost dead. Life support's almost dead. You know what? What would happen if we did lose the rest of these modules? Maybe we'll turn around and finish the job. But I can't really tell. Okay, there's the cone. Let's see if we can finish the job here. I wonder if life support goes down, if we just die. Oh, that's a... Yeah, if our power plant goes out, we're dead too. By the way, I'm not trying to control the steering. This is kind of just doing it all on its own. Warning. 
10% life support. 9% for the power plant. We'll see which goes first. Okay, life support's at zero. I suppose we got the emergency oxygen, so that's probably fine. 72% on the hull, that's fine. Okay, power plant is at zero, but we're still alive. Thrusters offline. Yeah, I think we're basically dead. But we got a few more minutes of air, so we'll just see what happens. So, the important thing to keep in mind is that you can actually escape if you're lucky. Uh, I recommend having a button for your fuel scoop damage. Have a button to enter Super Cruise, not just FSD jump. And then just hope that you spin towards the escape vector. So you can see my power distributor is kind of going crazy, putting the pips everywhere. I'm not doing that. That's, that's the malfunction going on. So do you think we're running out of air first, or are we going to... Run out of hull first. You know what's a good... Um. Don't want to self-destruct. I'm wondering, here we go. Let's see if this does anything. Okay, so we're able to fix A few things. We weren't able to fix very much. We got a fuel scoop going. Seems like the thrusters are still in up. So a reboot repair only fixes it for so long. After that, you kind of just still spin out of control. God, that is so bright. Yeah, I can't boost or anything. So there you go, everybody. That's what happens. Um, eventually, you run out of air and die. So 
I just wanted to say thank you for watching, everybody. I hope that you all enjoyed. If you did, you can give the video a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Hope I get to see you next time.